Hello, this is Janie from Webucator. In this video, I am going to show you how to add social media icons to your WooCommerce product pages in WordPress. We would like to thank Patrick Rowland, who discusses turning on social sharing using the Jetpack plugin. You can find more information on his blog at the URL shown here. To add the Jetpack plugin to your WordPress site, open up your site, go to the dashboard, scroll down the links to the plugin link, and choose Add New. When the Add New window opens up, click in the search area and type in Jetpack and hit your Enter key. The next window is going to show you several different options for Jetpack. You want to choose the first one, it's Jetpack by WordPress.com. Choose the Install button. When your Jetpack plugin has been installed, you will see it here in your list of installed plugins. You will also see it listed up here on the dashboard. If you click on Jetpack in the dashboard and then choose Settings, the Jetpack Settings page will open and you can see there's a, a very long list of different things you can add to your website. For today's lesson, we are interested mainly in the sharing icon. So scroll down the list until you find sharing, click on the checkbox next to, to the word sharing, and then click on activate. It just takes a few seconds and the sharing option is activated. Scroll back down to the sharing option, click on the word configure. When the configure window opens up, you will see that there, at the very top there's a list of some social media sites. You will need to connect to each of, each of those if you are not already connected. And you simply click the connect button right next to the social media site and put in your login information to connect. Once you have connected to all of the sites that you would like your WordPress site to be connected to, come down here and look in the sharing buttons area. You can see there's a whole list of different options for you to share. Pick the ones that you want to share, drag them down into the Enabled Services area. Once you have those dragged down in there, you can see them all lining up. Make sure you put the ones in there that you want to have in there. If you decide you don't want them, you simply pull them back out again. And then you can put them there. Now what's happening as you're sharing them in your enabled services area, you can see the live preview. They're coming up here as those icons. This is what it's going to look like on your web page. If you would rather have them all buried underneath a single button so that they don't clutter up your web page so much, you can simply move them over here. Services dragged in here will be hidden behind a share button. So here we come with our share our services. Bring them over here. You can see there's a share button here that is building. All of these icons are now being placed under the share button. And this is what the live preview looks like. This is what it will look like on your website. Scroll down a little farther and you can see here your button style. You can choose the icon only, which is what we viewed up here in the live preview just a minute ago. You can choose icon and text. If you choose this option, then when you do show them under your share button on your website, they will look like this with the icon and the text. You can put a label above there, above the icon or above the share button that says something like share this, to just to let you know that you're going to be sharing these. Now the other thing that you want to do is very important. Here it says show buttons on. And you have several different choices here. Your front page, active pages, archive pages, search results, post pages, media, any of those pages that you have out there, especially your product pages. When you are using WooCommerce, you do have your product pages here. Check those check boxes and make sure that they are that the uh, buttons are going to show on those product pages. Put in here your Twitter site tag, your uh, Twitter name. And then you can come down here and save your changes. And once you have saved those changes, and you want to go and see what it looks like on your website, you simply go to any one of your pages on your website, click on the page to view the page. 
scroll down to the bottom of the page and there is your share button with the label that you put up there. As I hover over it you can see all of the different icons are popping up. They're all hidden underneath that share button. And you simply just choose one of those to share and a window will open up and it will give you the information on how to share it on that particular website. Thanks again to Patrick Rowland. You can find more information about adding your social media icons to your WooCommerce pages in WordPress at the URL shown here. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.